Season 2, Episode 9 of Pure Love, Solstice, Winter Beginnings. Hi, everyone. And Joaquin is with us today. He hasn't been with us uh, for a while. He's enjoying a lot of apple right now. And he's very sleepy. And we are um, sporting our new Heel Project uh, t-shirts with our new logo on it. So we're very excited. Um, this is going to be our last uh, episode for the year. And uh, we wanted to do a little something. Uh, some people celebrate, you know, the, the um, what do you call it, when the, the new year we do our resolutions, right? Some people do New Year's resolutions. Some people, like uh, we did our um, solstice, yeah, you know, like manifestations for the winter solstice. We did some beautiful ritual with some chosen family and did a, a fire and um, really kind of try to manifest the things that we wanted for this new year. So Cleansing too. Yes, lots of cleansing and letting go of a lot of stuff. So we were thinking that this episode would be about what are the things that we want to let go of and bring forth in terms of like our parenthood or if we're talking about adult children or our um our teenage children uh what do you want to change in terms of how you want to uh, interact with your parents and I, I think about this all the time i think about constantly how i want to be different with you um because i'm always like I mean, there's there's no manual, you know. There's there's never a manual, and even though I think that we have a really really good relationship, and I I feel so blessed, you know. Um, it doesn't mean that we haven't had a lot of like rough spots, and um, and we struggle at times. That like um, I like I I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. meaning that we can always improve no matter what. Right. That that when we um, that even though we have a really good relationship, that I am, I always wonder. You know, like I wonder if I could, if there's something that I could have done better, or that in my mind, everything is good. But you know, sometimes we hold things back. So it, it's I guess for me, it's partly like. I want to say I want to do this better, but I guess half of that would be asking you, like, to be honest with me, and is there something, anything at all, that you would want me to change? Like, anything at all, like, uh, that you, I'm not even talking about little annoyances, I mean, because we all have little annoyances that are pain in the ass, but I mean, like, something that you feel like is a, is a character defect or a problem that could, that could, um, that you've wanted to talk to me about that, we can, that we can work on, um, or anything like that, or, or something that is, you've seen that, um, I do to myself, or that, um, people I hang out with or decisions that I make that are not good for me. Um, I know sometimes those things are hard to yeah. share with those that you love. Um, even when we say we're going to be honest, you know, so I guess I ask you that because, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, because I would want to change whatever it is that you need me to change. I need you to, to, I guess, tell me because I keep thinking and assessing and I shift and change what I think because we always talk about it, but I also want to check in again with you more in addition to what I think, mm -hmm. like working on trying not to be codependent, you know, and working on 
stepping back more and giving you your space to make your decisions and not mothering too much and things like that, which is hard. Mm -hmm. um, well, I know for me, um, I know that I want to work on being patient. Mm -hmm. um, especially, um, you know, that I guess like, cause your health is different now. Mm -hmm. So for me that I have to work on my patience and stuff. And I was thinking about the root of my impatience mm -hmm. and I think it's rooted in anxiety and fear right, right. of the unknown. So I just like, don't even want to deal with it, I guess. And it makes me short. Um, so I want to work on that because, you know, this is stuff that's out of your control. Right. So it's not like you're doing anything on purpose and I need to just, um, and I also want to have more patience with Joaquin too, because I know that he's just a little junior potato. Hi baby. He's still <laughs> learning and growing and you're figuring it out just like I am, but on a whole different level. Right. So... And it's rough. It's rough. That's the, the, it's funny because I'm thinking about how could I be better with you, my adult daughter, but I'm also like, it's a whole nother level with him. Cause I'm like, I'm learning. How could I be better with him as a grandparent? I'm thinking, whoa. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I have a whole nother opportunity, you know, I'm like, cause I would, I, I'm thinking, Oh, I wish, instead of saying, I wish I could go back and do this with you, I was like, I have this opportunity with him. And with him, we talked about it. Like, sometimes he gets so much energy, so much energy, and he just can't stop touching, 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 touching. And there are moments where, like, you know, grab his hand, and we're good, and we're good. After a good 15 minutes of it, we're like, walking. Yeah, know? he's like pure static energy. And right? we were saying, we need to stop you know, like raising our voice to, because I, we don't want to associate, you know, this uh, high level of, because for me, I know that um, that's a trigger. That's a big trigger. And I want to end um, this um, generational, um, like trauma around um, yelling, like violence. And it's like the, the, um, the emotional violence, you know, and stuff and that, the, the yelling and the, that's just too much. I can't handle that stuff. And so I yeah. find myself, you know, doing that stuff and I don't want to do it because I, I, I pride myself in saying, I didn't hit my daughter, but I was like, hmm, but did I yell? You know, did I yell? And so here's an opportunity not to yell. And so we've been trying to do the breathing with him. So it's like when he's getting a certain Take way to hold him and to do some deep breathing um, distraction and that's getting used to that because I still find myself saying walking and I'm like no we have to and so I was like maybe it's uh, when I start thinking about starting to yell I'll um, break into singing instead because he loves music he loves to dance and so that's a good way to redirect his energy because as soon as music comes on he starts dancing yeah right right to dance and play that. instruments. I like that. I like that. But yeah, I'm we're so we're both like on the same page when it comes to him too. Cause I know like we're feeling the same frustrations but in different levels because like I mean I like I'm thinking like for example, age wise, like for me I'm just like, oh, you know, I'm frustrated because it's a baby, but for you it's like you have so much, like, you've already done, it's like, oh, I've already done my time, and now it's like, there's a baby again, and you're like, oh my god, I'm doing this all over again, <laughs> so, you know, I, you know, we have different um, sides of frustration when it comes to, like, a non-communicative, well, non-verbal communicative baby, because mm -hmm. he does communicate, I mean, sometimes verbally, we may not understand fully, we don't have like the direct translation, mm -hmm. but we get the the context clues and the little bit of sign language that he does. Yeah. He's very good at communicating without yes. words. He is yeah. very smart. Mm -hmm. 
I think um, one thing that I would like to change um, is the way that I, I guess the way that I try to give you advice. I think I want to first ask if you, if you even want it, you know, um, because I think, um, I think what, what's happened in the past is when I've given you advice, I notice instantly like there's a shutdown and then the, I've told you, I said, if you don't want, if you don't want me to give you advice or you have something to say about it, then push back, you know, because you have a voice and I want you to push back because, um, you can tell me that. And sometimes I think because you're my child, you forget that and you shut down and, I, and I've been telling you to do it. But then I thought about it and I was like, but I actually don't have to give you that advice, you know, so... Um, so I want to check myself also because you are an adult and ask if you do in fact want that advice and give you that agency and if you want advice then I'll give it to you and if you don't then you don't. Nine times out of ten I do want the advice. I think my reaction is more um, an internal thing than anything to do with you in particular. Mm -hmm. It could just be because, you know, I have a Capricorn moon, so <laughs> I'm my biggest critic, and it's I'm never good enough, or I could always be better, so I'm just like, holy shit, somebody's criticizing me, oh. I'm the fucking worst, I'm terrible, I'm not going to be good at this, I'm like, so in my head it's just like, failure, 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 so when I hear some type of criticism, even though I know it's coming from a place of love, I'm still like, mm -hmm. oh my god, mm -hmm. somebody's noticing a flaw, so <laughs> it's mainly about me. Not like, oh, God, my mom's talking to me again. It's just like, oh, God, I did something else wrong. Mm. Okay. Are you enjoying that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? What are you thinking about? <laughs> That's a good idea. That is a good idea. What else? We should write that down. We we'll do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Okay. okay. Well, I'll stop doing that. No. 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 No more. No. Okay. No more. I'm listening. Okay. I'm thinking a lot about um. A lot, of, a lot of parents out there um, stuck in their ways um, in terms of um, just just their parenting. Um, and that's really, a, it's just really sad, I think. I think that parenting should always be something that is... Evolving and growing. Absolutely. As absolutely. the times change, as you as a person change. Because, you know, every nothing stays the same. So you can't use the same methods all the time for every situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, and yeah, it, it's a, uh, it's just this like self assessment and just seeing how things go. We have an idea of how we want to parent and what our children are going to be like, and then they're born, and you know the world is what the, what it is, and things shift and change, and we just got to go along with it. And um, when we don't and we stay rigid, um, it could just really fail. Um, and I think. Um, this is why I constantly stay in my brain about what could I do differently. Um, I think for a long time, I kept using the same method, same method, same method um, with you. And um, I kept telling, I remember I kept saying, I sound like a broken record. I sound like a broken record. And I was like, well, um, maybe it's time that I stop doing that. Are you okay, Pop? Well, the skin is too much. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. I need just to change my method because if, uh, if what, what is that saying? You know, uh, doing the same thing. Oh, doing the same thing over and over and respect um, and expecting the same results is insanity. Some, yeah, something, something like, like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, um, so I I keep um, I keep myself busy and thinking and checking in, um, and also I mean the biggest part about this is the honesty, really and truly. It's just being honest with ourselves. Uh, you have a piece right there, and, yeah. your, and your mouth is full. Yeah, you don't have any molars yet, so you got to take your time. Can't be choking on camera. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't want that. No, 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 no. Definitely don't. 
You're very wise. <laughs> You're so wise. No, no. <laughs> I also um no. I think I think I definitely want to be more proactive with um I, I mean I feel like I am no. being pretty proactive no. with my mental health but mm -hmm. I feel like no. there's always something more that I could do no. because I, it's just like I thought about it the other day and I was like damn like, no. this is a lifelong thing um it's never going to go away. Mom. I just have to change how I deal with it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, I do therapy. I have medication. And I try to do things that make me happy. Like, you know, hair. <laughs> hair, makeup. Um, you know, arts and crafts. Things right. like that. But um, I'm trying to see if there's more things I could be doing. Holistic things to mm -hmm. just keep. Can I... Uh, for a suggestion, yes. Uh, I I really think it's the one of the major things is going outside more. Oh uh, yeah, that's the thing. And I know how hard that is because I struggle with that too. But I think we can help each other. It's going outside more. I think so. And even though I'm on, you know, I'm a sloth, so you know, <laughs> high activity of I'm just like. Mm -hmm. Let's just sit down. Go to the go to the Y. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I was gonna say. Um, that I'm gonna push myself to go there, and you know, do, even if I'm on a bike or walking on the treadmill, you know, something. Mm -hmm. I should just do something to get some hormones pumping. Yeah. So I'm gonna push myself to do that, especially now that it's gonna be harder because it'll be cold, and I'll really not want to do it. Um, wanna I'll push myself even harder to make sure that I do. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, not even for like all losing weight or whatever. It's just to keep me busy and active so this winter doesn't hit me hard. Because mm -hmm. last winter was pretty rough. Yeah. So, <laughs> winter is a tough. So, yeah. <clears throat> it's already tough to begin with. And then on top of that, you know, mm -hmm. it was rough. So, yeah. And winters are rough in general. Um, <clears throat> and also just the seasonal depression stuff, too. And I would say uh, one other thing that I would say that I would that I am changing actually as a you know as a parent really and as a as a daughter to my mom is that um, I have definitely changed the way um, I have decided to talk about my survivorship and my family. Uh -huh. um, that has that has changed um, as of like recently and has changed um it is definitely an interesting um experience to be a public person talking about being a survivor of incest and sexual abuse for so long and to not have the capacity <clears throat> to uh, grapple with that within your family um and so that very difficult path is happening right now and so that's happening very openly with with the support of my daughter she's seeing that happen and that's really important because um and that's going to happen openly with this one right here that's going to be talked about we need to talk about why that's it's been so difficult to talk about openly and why it's so important to, to yeah mm -hmm, to yell about it and to talk about it we can't sing and eat at the same time. <laughs> yes, um, because talking about this topic is uh, just of the utmost importance. So it is definitely my mission um, because this little sweet potato means everything to me and all of the children in my family. So that is definitely a manifestation for the rest of uh, for this new year for the all of the children. Um, now to come and for healing the lineage um, um, in my family for the all of the children before and the little girl and me. Mm. Suave.
Um, what else? What else? Well, I know that I definitely want to just do more internal work because I'm going to be 30 and I feel like it's a big milestone and I want to change the direction that my life is going. So I'm trying to, I guess, to put it simply, I'm trying to find my purpose. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, besides Joaquin. So, because I want to make sure that I have an identity separate from him. I'm not just Joaquin's mom. So I want to see... Because I'm still very young. Like, what is it that I want to do? How do I want to inspire and influence him in the right way by showing him how I lead my life? Right. So, because um, I know, like, the way you led your life was always an inspiration to me. So I want to be the same for him. That's right. That's right. Oh. Piggy. From both ends. <laughs> I've been really loving thinking about this and continuing to think about all the ways to grow and just be a positive family and just be thinking as to be better caregivers, whether you're parents or aunts, uncles, you know, have children in your lives. Um, just continue to think about that. And I hope we and you get to manifest all of the wonderful things in this coming year. Um, and we will see you all in January. In 2020. Yes. So, Happy Bye. New Year, everyone. Say, Say adios. Say adios. Felicidades. Felicidades. Happy New Year. You want to blow a kiss? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. No, you got food in your mouth? Okay. <laughs> hey, ciao. Ciao.